Do you know about the mindset of the broke photographer? No one knows this story more than me. I've lived it like an idiot for about a third of my life. It goes like this. People are okay with being broke until something catastrophic happens. The sad thing is, if you're living in a broke mindset, it's much more likely for that catastrophic event to actually happen to you. Your car blows up because it's old and unmaintained, or someone breaks into your house and steals your gear, or into your car because you live in a bad neighborhood. Your parents get sick and you can't help them because you're not making real money. Seems then you'd have the motivation to make money because something catastrophic has happened. The reason that this scenario is even a possibility is because you didn't prepare. And I've been there. I was not prepared. I didn't have the foresight or the vision for a possible catastrophic event. I couldn't break out of the narrow mind that I had adopted about the photography business because of the narrow routine that I was stuck in. A traumatic event happens because of our current situation. And even then we normalize. Someone breaks into your car and you're pissed, but soon stress comes down and it becomes normal. And even worse still, you're comfortable with it. I don't have to do anything. I'm fine. I'm safe. My survival isn't at stake. And you just wait for another event to happen. Successful people use these traumatic events to change the foundations of who they actually are. Who they are determines their standards and their values. And their standards and values determine the small choices that they make. If you're okay with having five bucks in your bank account, you won't see that five bucks as a problem. If your standards have raised and you're only okay with having 100K in your bank account, then you'll see anything less as a big problem that needs to be fixed. Problems frame your perception. When your mind is open, it has the standards that allow you to create smart problems that require creativity to solve. Then you start to begin noticing more money-making opportunities in every situation. If you have five bucks in your account and you don't see that as a problem, you're not gonna notice any opportunities that help you fix your finances because it's not on your mind. It's not on your radar. It's not framing your perception of yourself. When you set your standards to not okay with anything less than 100K in your account, then even if you have 50K in your account, your actual survival's at stake. You're gonna see that 50K as a huge problem. And it's gonna bring a youthful stress to your life. That good kind of stress. You're gonna get off your ass and think of a way to wisely double your money. This part might sound flaky, but the universe starts to conspire in your favor. It's the logical outcome of having a problem on your mind that you need to solve creatively. You start absorbing information without even being aware of it. Your Google searches start to change. How to make an extra thousand dollars a month. And of course, you find me in this channel. Trying to become a better person is how you live with purpose. You start having conversations about money with your friends. All of these small choices begin to compound into results. Your brain naturally rewires your thinking patterns based on your new goals and your new intentions. And you find yourself searching for specific information relating to these new problems that you're facing. The information that we consume highly influences our identity and therefore our standards. If you're in a social media space, or if you're reading books, or you're immersed, you're conditioning programming. You're training your mind. Like I talk about in my video about the three traits that every successful photographer has, you're slowly allowing these higher standards to form over time. If you surround yourself with a group of successful photographers who are all on their road to stardom, no matter what you think of them, you realize you kind of got to keep up with them. You got to use them. Ask all the questions that you need to in order to make your photo business successful. There's goods and bads about comparison. If you adopt what successful shooters are doing as a standard, the likelihood of you actually reaching that point is a thousand times higher than someone who doesn't have those high standards in their mind. If you don't change the habits of who you surround yourself with, you're not learning anything new that could propel your life forward. If you surround yourself with people, whether it's physical or digital, that makes it seem like it's okay to be 100 pounds overweight or have no money or work at a job that they hate or stay with a partner that they hate or get drunk every night, how do you think that your life will end up? This is how our standards intertwine with our identity. If you're interested in making money with photography or changing your life, then you're also interested in adopting the identity of a person that's going to help you reach that ideal future. If your standards require you to work like a CEO, you'll see the low-level growth 
grunt work as a problem that needs to be outsourced or automated or taken over by software. I'm just now learning the power of outsourcing, which is why AI and automation is coming in and taking away low level jobs. It's because the people with those jobs don't have the high standards that allow them to bridge their understanding and actions to a higher identity. AI can't come in and take away the complex creative skill set, the business mindset that you're creating for yourself. It can't take away your creative photography business. You obviously can't solve all the problems in your life immediately. You can't escape your situation right now, right this second, but you need a plan. You need an aim. By sticking to a plan, I promise you that the journey along that plan will be more enjoyable than the outcome. A good way to adopt a higher standard is to adopt the standards of the person or the creative that you want to become, the ideal version of yourself. Most people take the bare minimum approach to life. Quick money, quick sex, no commitment, no depth, no failure. As a new photographer in business, there is no quick. There has to be a vision of long money, of ongoing success, a full commitment, a depth of purpose sprinkled in with lots of failure. You need to learn all aspects of your current and your future photography business. Learn what you're good at. Learn what you need to do to succeed, but you don't yet have the skills to master. Maybe it's post-production. Maybe it's brand design. In order to do everything at the highest level, it's smart money to get help. The easier you try to make your life, the harder it's gonna be. The way out of mindless living is to adopt the standards of who you wanna become. How much money do you wanna make? What kind of work will bring you fulfillment? What's your ideal relationship for friends or a partner? How do you wanna look and feel? We must go beyond the bare minimum of survival in order to set ourselves up for success. Commit to having a reason behind your actions. If you don't know why you're doing something, why are you doing it? And if you know why you need to do something, why are you ignoring it? Why haven't you begun pursuing a more purposeful career by starting your photography business. Most don't see the small choices that they make daily is actually how you reach your ideal outcome. As I said earlier, some have closed their minds off to me already and that's the choice that they've decided to make. But you only get one shot at this thing called life. I know it's a cliche, but those people who've tuned out, they've already stopped watching this video already. The only person that can stop you from living a meaningless existence is you. What creates better choices? Learning. Learning is the main human drive at birth. We are information sponges. Our parents, our friends, society, teachers, bosses, they all project their worldview on us. Where did they get their worldview from? From their parents, their teachers, bosses, society, and their friends. Unless we question it, this is all we know. When you reach the end of high school, if you could put a number on it, less than 1% of the information available in the world, I would say less than 1% of 1% of the information in the world is known. And it's that same less than 1% of 1% that every other single person in the world knows because it was passed down by every other single person. The matrix is real. It's the web of expectations. And those web of expectations create your identity, which is the same identity as everyone else's. They get locked into the same routines, the same cycles day in, day out. School teaches us how to work silently for other people, regurgitate back what we're told, never really learning anything about how to be an independent thinker. We get locked into the known and we become slaves to it. Our identity limits what information we notice. You won't notice certain things if you haven't learned the information that bridges that gap. You won't understand intermediate or advanced information if you haven't learned beginner information. With this professional photography career, you can't advance from level one to level three. If you're trying to, you're missing out on 99% of life. You don't wanna suffer with that one thing, that one photography related thing. Sadly, that's the thing that'll lead you to doing exactly what you want. When we're young, we have a cycle of emotional states we go through. We drown ourselves in information that leads to the identity we want. Often, that identity isn't a positive one. It's full of empty celebrities and memes that give us a giggle, but distract us 
us from the higher learning that we could be seeking. This brings up the power of the internet. We could tend our own personal internet to be a digital garden, or we can allow it to turn into a digital swamp. We are who we eat. Make sure who you're eating up is giving you the right knowledge. Consume knowledge that feels empowering and makes you feel like acting. By the way, that's the only content I care to make. Thank you so much for watching. Watch this one next if this video grabbed you and you need more inspiration. Every working pro has these three traits. You should too. See you on that one. Thanks for watching.